Hello and welcome. I'm back in the Medicine Lake Highlands volcanic area. Um, I had been exploring this large lava flow field and at some point I came to this big hole in the ground. So I wanted to show you this. And then as I said before, it's very difficult in, this in these types of videos to get a sense of scale. So this hole, I would think, I would guess is about 30 feet deep. And in a moment I, I will descend in it, so you will get a better view of the inside. But as you can see, this was probably a big cavity cave that collapsed. And as I'm panning around here, I'm just looking for a way to descend. On this side of the hole, there are more rocks. It's not uh, steep like the the side that you see on the other uh, side of the hole. So I'm climbing down here. And as I'm going down, you can see better sense of how deep it is. And I went down in here because I was looking to see if there were any tunnels that, it, that I could go into. And just there, there is a tunnel. But all the ones that I saw here, they were very narrow. I couldn't, too narrow to get into. And also, when I looked into them, they didn't look like they would go very deep. So these were just uh, uh, small cavities, it looked like. I went to this area in the first place because I was expecting to find long lava tubes. I wandered around for, well, almost two hours over this large field, looking around, but aside from a few shallow caves, I didn't find the tunnels that I was looking for. And maybe they are not there, I'm not sure. It, it was a an educated guess. But later in this video I will show you nearby this hall there is a cave that I was able to get into, but not very deep. So this is just to give you a sense of the aftermath of the volcanic activity in this area and the lava flows, and how they collapsed over time, and how the rocks formed. See, there's a different, several different cavities here, but none that I fit in. They were all too small, or they were blocked with big boulders. So these walls, they were relatively solid rock. 
many places here on the lava flow. You will see very small blocks uh, that are just look like they are scattered and like this, what you are looking at now. That's more common to see here. And then now trying to find a way out the hole again. So all these rocks are some three, four feet in diameter. And here again, what I've shown before, the typical uh, layers in the rocks with um, cavities in between. So I'm making a way out of the hole. And look at the surroundings, the surrounding area. This, this area is very close to the road from the highway. Uh, close to McLeod. And then you take a small exit forest road to go to Madison Lake. That's a campground in this area. And then on next to that road some place you will find this flow, the lava flow. So on this side there is quite a bit of vegetation um, on the on the rocks more to the right from here. There is a very large area, there is no vegetation, there's just rocks. That's where I spent most of my time walking around. And then here, there's a cave, looks like. So most of this is loose rock, so it's not the easiest to walk on with the sharp edges. But there's another cave, and this one was a uh, just big enough to squeeze myself into. Maybe maybe four feet high, something like that. But this was a nice one because there were different chambers, so to speak. And you can see in different areas there are openings to get out again. But most of them were 
too small so eventually I will go out the same way I came in which is this opening again and from here I'm walking back towards the road and the very first video that I made um, called going underground was made in this exact uh, same area and actually in a little bit I will pass that exact spot where I walked underground through one of those uh, lava tubes. So this is in the same the same general area. Again, a crack in the ground in the rocks, and inside you could see a tube, but not accessible to climb into. interesting I'm not I don't know if I will upload that video I made a very short video of a hole in this area that I managed to squeeze myself in and in that hole there was water it was like an underground reservoir of water and this is a very dry area as, as you can see and yet there was this this water hole. It, it was just a very small um, cavity. I could barely fit myself in there, so I didn't really get good footage. Not good enough to think. I think to show, but I I may included as a bonus in one of my uh, next videos not sure yet there is supposed to be a 
a bigger cave in this area and it is called the water cave. I have not yet been able to uh, locate it because that's really off the beaten path. Um, then you really have to go cross country on the dirt roads. But uh, my next trip I will try to find that. So again, this is in Madison Lake Highlands. This is in Northern California, close to uh, the border with Oregon. And this is a large volcanic area. Here are we back to the location of my very first going underground video. This is the edge of that tube that I walked through. It's looking into that. So if you want me to see me walking through that, just look for my going underground revisited video. There it is. And so actually it is kind of ironic. I walked around for more than two hours, as I said, looking for cavities and caves and tunnels. And it turns out that all the most interesting cavities and caves were right at the very beginning next to the road. And I came to this after walking for those almost two hours. That's not to say that there are no tunnels in the, in the wider area, I just couldn't find them. So anyway, Thank you for, this, for visiting this area with me today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.